we are back to another short TA session. This one is double top and this one is double bottom. Now this I'm showing you a sharp V-shaped recovery to the downside inverted V whereas this one is a rounded double bottom pattern. Now if it breaks you retest and go lower the pattern is confirmed you're going lower but there is a take on this one. Say so take the double top and let's see what kind of variations can be there because some of these patterns just trap you inside the trade. So what you can do is to look whether that's doing the stuff. This is your support, mm -hmm, the previous bounce and then you come lower, test that one, you bounce up. So just because the price reached here doesn't actually make it a double top. Because if you call this as a double top, calling for a downside movement, you may actually get trapped when the price goes lower and bounced. So if you take your profits here, that's range bound trading, not the actual pattern trading. So if you are a bear for this asset saying this is a double top, this is the measured move, I take it there and this is my target, you would be kicked out when we bounce. Now you can do a trailing stop loss that protects you, but the actual stuff comes in when you break down, retest and then go lower. That's your confirmation. Now, yeah, you lose these points, but those are the level of risk reward you're balancing. Now, if it actually bounces from here, now you have two possibilities. Say, forget this. Mm -hmm. Just think like this. Now you have two possibilities. This is what we are looking in Bitcoin right now. This can also be a double bottom. Now, there are a lot of different types of double bottom, right? The price goes up, mm -hmm. corrects back down, this okay let me clear this area so it's clean for you you get one and you get two so this can be a double bottom or even sometimes this happens right now your double bottom is like this at that point you need to actually use your indicators to see whether the indicator is actually showing you a double bottom like this because here when you actually move the RSI, if it's actually showing you a double bottom like this and the price shows like this, that's still okay. You go to your MACD. If the MACD suggests it's supporting the RSI, that's a strong double bottom. If the MACD goes with the price, that's kind of neutral. You still have a possibility of a double bottom. Now, the same applies to the top. So if you go look at the RSI of Bitcoin and MACD, you will more likely lean towards the bullish side. So if you like this short segment, hit that like button and if you want more of these short segments you can look here.